Lumos Wand Deluxe. Movie realistic spell casting, a wand, multicolored lights, and rechargeable batteries. Ah! All right, way back when, the ones that you could only buy were resin ones like this. Great, this is my first wand, it was a Harry wand, and it was great. You can swish and flick, and they are display only things, and I've dropped ones in the past and broken them and this one I would wave around and I've grazed like the edge of it and it's quite worn and I've scratched it in places and handled it probably too often but it's been a well loved wand and this is Harry's wand it's really great and I remember when I was younger <laughs> that little LED like key ring and I would like elasticate it to the end and like turn it on and like walk around the house at night like <laughs> like the turtle geek that I am but it was fun you could do things like that then like, they must have heard that I did that from someone. I don't know who told them, but... <laughs> then they came up with... So this is WoW stuff came up with one. Now, I per recently purchased the Newt, um, the Newt Scamander wand, and it was a light-up wand, and it was really cool, and it, does a, and it is really bright, and it doesn't look super bright on camera like this, but it is really bright. It's a really bright white LED light, and... It's great. I've used it in the darkness. It, it's fantastic. It's so cool that you just click a button and then on goes the light like this. It's really cool. Now, the problem is that something happened. I don't know if the batteries ran out or something, but it was another one and I tried to replace it. It looks like there's like a little screw in there and I was like, oh, maybe I can replace the batteries. I broke it. So I had to get a new one. But now this is the new one. Not sure if they're temperamental or something, but... I don't know. Not great of a wand that once the battery runs out, you can't replace it. So it's like, maybe I'm pressing this too much now. I'm like kind of using the magic up of this wand. Then I was just scrolling through Amazon, as one does, and came across the Lumos Wand Deluxe. It says it has multicolored lights. So it's like, not just white, like this one, <laughs> but it has other lights has a spell, like, scroll, and it's rechargeable. So I was like, of course I want to try this, so I got it. So I think this would actually be a really good gift for a Harry Potter fans. So if anyone's looking for Harry Potter gift ideas for anyone, I'm, I'm pretty sure that most people won't have a light-up wand as part of their collection. I think, like, of, of all the people that I've been hanging around with who are Harry Potter obsessed people like me, uh, I've not seen anyone, like, maybe they're too embarrassed to carry around a light-up one, but maybe they do, but anyway, that's maybe another story, but anyway. So it comes like that, and so here's a little cord that plugs in, so it is a USB, fortunately, USB to a tiny little chargey bit that goes into the end of the wand, like, did Ollivanders predict this in the future? Probably not. <laughs> And then it comes with a scroll, which I've not been one of those people that is very aware of the spell movements. Like, I'm probably going to fail my charms exam if I had to take it. I mean, I, I know what a lot of spell names are, but the spell movements, like, could we, we could probably, you know, do Wingardium Leviosa. But then, is that the Wingardium Leviosa that they say? So according to that, it's down, like swish and flick so it's like that movement but did I know according to this like I don't know who came up with the official wand language someone at Wizarding World has like <laughs> been doing their charms homework so here it is a great little one it has loads of spells on so like Ascendio, Expelliarmus, Revelio and all the movements so you can have fun learning that and I will certainly be doing that but it doesn't tell what colour each one would do. Like, obviously there's only a few colours that can just do. But now, without further ado, let's actually get on to the light up wand. I can't remember which one I last was playing. I did I did have a little go on this before I put it back in packaging to show you. I can't remember what light it is on, but let's see. Let's do it off camera. Okay, so the first one you'll remember, <laughs> I'm sure you could know immediately, so it's a green light. What is a green spell? Avada One of the unforgivable curses. That's right. I was being evil during Halloween. But yeah, so this is just me playing with this. And it's just, yeah. And there's another, there's a second button on the back, 
which changed the colour. Now unfortunately, I thought I was pressing it, and then every time I pressed it, like, it didn't change the colour. I was like, what's going on? Apparently, you have to have it on, and then press the button. And now it's gone to yellow. So there's a little slight change. I'll have to maybe do this in like a darker room for you guys to see. And then if I change it again, now it's white. So this could be... I, I've been used to white as Lumos. And Lumos, but it could be Expecto Patronum. Like, I think that's more of a, like a white colour. And then we have blue. Now, I couldn't quite think of blue. What would blues be? Like a Bluebell Spell? Like Bluebell Fires? Or Agumensi? I can't, I can't think. And then yeah, red, obviously we know Harry's. Of course, if Harry Potter's wand didn't have a red spell in it, would it be Harry Potter's wand? Because of course we know his favourite spell <laughs> is Expelliarmus, which of course is a red. We know it's red because it's red and green. That's what like him and Voldemort were like. Anyway, spoilers. Yeah, so that's that one. And then there is also it goes long, so you can change it. Not quite sure what yellow is. I guess yellow? Would yellow be Lumos? I think Lumos, for me, is white. Maybe yellow is Expecto Patronum. Mm, not quite, but it's cool, isn't it? And you just press this little button there. So there, this is the main button at the top. Hopefully you can see somewhere. So that's the main button that turns it on. And it's not showing camera, but it is really bright. I was walking around the dark. <laughs> and this is the other button that changes it. So. It would be cool if you could like press it and then change it because then you could be like whew, like flashing different spells But it looks like you have to do it like like that like and then like it changes it and then It's I, I think it's really cool and then a little port at the back which It just the plugs in just over there and that's what charges and so you have a chargeable one I think pretty pretty robust it feels how does it how it compares to the actual one. So this is the Noble Collection Thin Wand that we know. And here is the Wow Stuff Light Up Wand. So the handle bit is a little bit shorter, if you can see. It's a little bit shorter. But I think very well done. I, I always thought the little knobby that's on like this bit of Harry's wand like was like a button. So they've not actually put the button there, but they could have done. Because there's, there's two, anyway, so there's extra knobbies on, <laughs> on Aries Wand. Uh, yeah, so that's the two there, that's really cool. And pretty much same length, and I would say that this is now going to be a fun, like imagine like, I took my light up wand when I went on that Forbidden Forest light trail, and I was like using my, using my wand to like do different things, but imagine like, using this, and like, battling, I think this is like, a great for kids and even more fun for adults. <laughs> I was somewhat, yeah, very, very cool. So here's the one, and then if you're feeling evil, you can do a Vatacadaver against your friends. I love it. Of course, I'll leave links for this wand in the description box below, so look out for that. If you have enjoyed this video, then please do me a favor and click that subscribe button and turn on notifications so that when there's a new video, you'll be notified. Be sure to give this video a like, and with that, remember the Wizarding World is just one spell away.